in this video i will show you how to calculate the ripple factor for half wave and full wave rectifier circuit see this is the load current of our half wave rectifier circuit we calculate the ripple factor gamma of any rectified output by using this formula irms by idc whole square minus one in case of a half wave rectifier i rms that means the rms value of this load current i rms equal to i m divided by 2 i m is the maximum value of this load current and i dc equal to i m divided by phi now take the ratio of i rms and i dc IRMS by IDC will be equal to IM by 2 divided by IM by phi this IM and this IM will get cancelled so I will get phi divided by 2 now put the value of IRMS by IDC here phi divided by 2 whole square minus 1 here I will get root over 1.57 square minus 1 which will be equal to 1.21 see here gamma is equal to 1.21 we calculate gamma IAC by IDC so I can calculate IAC equal to 1.21 IDC as IAC is equal to 1.21 IDC this implies that in the rectifier output the amount of AC current will be 1.2 times of amount of DC component as the AC component in the rectifier output is higher than the DC component therefore half wave rectifier is a poor device for alternating current rectification now let me show you the ripple factor of full wave rectifier circuit we calculate the ripple factor gamma equal to root over i rms by i d c whole square minus one see this is the output or load current waveform of the full wave rectifier circuit the value of IRMS will be equal to IM by root 2 and the value of IDC will be equal to 2IM divided by phi now let me take the ratio of RMS and IDC IRMS divided by IDC will be equal to IM by root 2 divided by 2 IM by phi now this IM and this IM get cancelled therefore I will get phi divided by 2 root 2 which will be equal to 1.1 one one so I can calculate gamma equal to 1.11 square minus 1 which will be equal to 0 0.48 see here the gamma is equal to 0 0.48 and we calculate gamma equal to RMS component of AC quantity in the pulsating DC divided by the DC component in the pulsating DC so you will see that IAC will be equal to only 0 0.48 IDC that means amount of AC component in the rectified output of the full wave rectifier will be only 48 percent of DC component presents in the rectified output which implies that we can easily filter out the AC component from this rectified output and convert this rectified output into a pure 
and continuous DC voltage that's why full wave rectifier is far better than half wave rectifier circuit that's it thank you